This is really real important. So we got our North Pole right here. The equator is halfway between the center and the outside. So everything inside this circle here is the north and everything outside here. Now, every any flight from anywhere in the north to the north, there's no reason ever to cross the equator because no matter where you're going, there's no reason to cross the equator. And guess what? No flights in the north ever cross the equator. Yeah. But on a flat earth, if you want to go from like Santiago, where am I? Santiago um, to Australia, well, you'd have to kind of cross – because the south is out here, and that's kind of like a longer trip. So if we look at if we look at actual flight routes, um, there's a problem. Okay, so here's the flight route from uh, Buenos Aires to Johannesburg, and it goes all the way up to Amsterdam on the globe, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what it looks like here. All right, that's that's a little a little weird, but let's uh, let's just go a little farther. Um, here's one from. Uh, from Dubai to Auckland, and it stops in Tokyo, right? Look where Tokyo is. Why didn't it just fly here across the globe? Well, if you look at it on a flat Earth, Tokyo is right there in line, okay? <laughs> Here's another one, right? Mm. Qatar to Argentina. It goes to Rome. This is where the, um, the, the World Cup. Yeah. They flew to Rome first, mm. right? Why did they fly here and then there, right? Because there's no place to get gas here. They flew here to get gas, and then they went down, boom, get gas, continue. It's a straight line. There's, there's example after example after example of ridiculous flights that don't work on the globe. And now the, the people will say, well, that's because they have to go change pilots, pick up other passengers. Well, there's a thing called emergency landings. They happen when, um, when somebody dies suddenly. Yeah, which there's an event, on the, on, the, when there's an event yeah. on the airline, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. When there's an event on the airline, so let's just um, let's just look at a couple emergency landings. Um, here is here's one where the emergency landed in Seattle. They were going from New York to Hawaii, and they went like a thousand miles out of the way to Seattle. Right? They got there in no time. Like emergency, they landed in 15 minutes. Okay? How did they get? How did they travel all the way over here? If you look at it, Seattle is directly online with with that. So I'll get another one. We'll just do a couple more, and then we'll move on. Okay, here's one from uh, London to Pakistan, emergency landing in Moscow. Again, Moscow is way out of the way, but it's right. It's on a flat Earth. It's right online. It's right there. Okay, mm -hmm. right out of the way. Right. Again, again, uh, this one from uh, Doha, from uh, Doha to Chicago, or Chicago to Doha, stopped in Moscow. That's like 1,500 miles out of the way. No, it's not. It's right on the flight route. Okay. There, there again. There's emergency landing after emergency landing. This is this is what there's the last two are my favorites. Okay, from New York to Auckland, New Zealand. Right here is emergency. They flew to Fiji. Why didn't they just continue to New Zealand? And the answer is because that's not where New Zealand. That's not where Fiji is. Fiji is directly en route. Here's a zoom in coming from New York. Fiji is not over here. It's right there on the route. Doesn't hmm. work on a ball. Works on a on a globe. On a now this one is the this is the final one. <clears throat> Excuse me. From uh, Hong Kong, they were going to the UK. They ended up stopping in Germany. It was a 12 hour flight, and um, a family traveled together mother, father, small children, all sitting together. Mom dies suddenly, okay? Dead in her seat, right? So they're four hours into the flight. They could stop at dozens of airports along this flight route, right? Why didn't they stop? They didn't stop for eight hours. Could you imagine sitting next to your dead mom for eight hours? <laughs> OK, mm. this is horrible. Mm -hmm. I make the joke like how it's hard to sit next to your mom for eight hours. OK, <laughs> so so here's the real route. Four hours into the trip, they're over Russia. Two things in this political environment. If they landed in Russia and Russia was very helpful, that could spark peace. We don't want that. And the other thing is, why are we over Russia? Somebody might do what I'm doing and show you this is why they're over Russia, because the earth is flat. And now after eight <laughs> hours, I think they should have just finished and gotten gotten the family home. Don't you think they should have just gone ask? Ah, screw it. The kids are ruined for life. Uh, hold on, hold on. Do you think right. that this uh, applies to every flight that is taken? No. Okay. Northern flights, there's very little difference in the okay. north. Southern flights, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. That's what I want to okay. ask. That's what I want to ask. Because I've been in flights before where I have I have tracked where we are according to the little monitor there. And That's on your phone, right. you can actually still use the map app. And I've looked down and visually seen exactly knowing where mm -hmm. I was. So I'm just saying, north. yeah, okay, well, yeah, I'm talking about the United States, so yeah, that would apply there. Very interesting. Okay, so I've got two quick questions here, 
And I, I don't know, I don't want to assign you this map right here, this crude drawing. Can you see this, by the way, Dave? Are you I able? can, yes, okay. I, yes, I can. Okay, so somebody sent me a video one time that said that, that our Earth looks like this. And so this is our rudimentary, this is North America, South America, Europe and Asia, Australia, Africa. Okay, and then this is the, I guess, like the basin, like you described. Right. Okay, and then they suggested that, or the video they sent me suggested that there are... The outer, reason that, outer lands. Uh, yeah, they're outer lands. That's why th this this basin, this ring is patrolled, and then there are outer lands there. So real quick, Dave, is this something similar to what you believe? Because I have a follow-up <clears throat> to it. So here's the thing. We don't know what's beyond 60 degrees south. We don't know what's beyond the shoreline of Antarctica, but there's lots of stories, lots of evidence uh -huh. um, that there is. This is a map that was found 10 centuries old. It yeah. was published in uh, 1918 in uh, – um, newspaper in, in Hawaii, and it's showing like 30 some odd continents outside of this. This is where Antarctica would start, right? So let me let me show you something that that happened with this map, which is very interesting. Okay. You know, there's ship tracking. You can track all the cargo ships in the world, and here they are. And you click on a ship, it gives you all the information. So we found a ship. Uh, we found several ships. Uh, 730 miles this ship is in from the closest port. How did it get th 730 miles? And according to Google Math, that ship is 1.9 miles above sea level, right? If uh, Antarctica is what they say, how is a ship that far in, okay? And then here's another one. This map, this one is 905 miles away. This is a little more zoomed out. Okay, nine, how does a ship get 905 miles away and 2.37 miles above mm -hmm. Sea level, all right? So here, here's what I think is happening. So we clicked on one of those ships, and uh, it said uh, I was registered to the nation of Kiribati. You guys ever hear of Kiribati? Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. where the day begins. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, so you have heard about it. It's yeah. out here in the middle of nowhere, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Middle of nowhere. So I put a pin on it so you can see it. It's a, it's a sandbar. China gave them $10 billion recently, and I think America gave them a similar number not too long ago. Why are we funding them? What, what is going on here? They hmm. say that it's a most important trade route. Okay, a most important trade route? Like, why do we need to stop there? Are we getting fuel? Where are they getting the fuel from? Oh, what are we getting? There's not even enough sand if they want to pick up sand. Hmm. It's a tiny little atoll. And guess what? On this island, just out of coincidence, there's a Captain Cook uh, bed and breakfast hotel. <laughs> Captain Cook, the guy that tried to circle Antarctica. <laughs> so they got a Captain Cook hotel. They got ships in impossible places in Antarctica, right? And then think about this. On a globe... All the time zones are, are lines from the North Pole to the South Pole, equally divided up, you know, 24 lines all the way around. And you have all you should have all these symmetrical time zones if we live um, on on a uh, on a, on a globe. world like they tell us. You got all the time zones. Mm -hmm. But then over here, you got this weird time zone. <laughs> and when we zoom when we zoom in on it, this is a time zone. OK, this is a time zone. <laughs> right. And guess what's right here? Kiribati. Kiribati in the most yeah mm -hmm. the most the most suspicious place over so finishing up the um mm. so I think that um this that that Kiribati could be a very important trade route to the outer lands these ships are mm. just going out here now our globe prison tells us oh this ship is on Antarctica no it's not it's going to these other lands mm. maybe there's more advanced okay. civilizations out there maybe they're trading tuna fish computer chips weapons children I don't know.